Do you remember running a race when you were very young? 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years or 50 or 60 years back when you were 5 years old you were running, 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 running and you <laughs> you just touched that line where that goalkeeper or the referee declared yes, you are first <laughs> So how did you feel when you were declared that you won the race? Or rather than saying when you won it, I would say, suppose you did not get the first prize or you at least completed the race. Maybe you got a consolation prize or maybe some other achievement which you had in your life. How did you feel? But suppose tomorrow there's another running race and you run there. And after running, 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 you get the first prize. <laughs> and then the person who was in charge of the race tells you that actually we were just joking. <laughs> there was never a race and you never ran it. <laughs> and you'll be thinking, oh my God, I just got the first prize. But then the referee is saying no. <laughs> there was no game there was no match there was nothing how would you feel if it happens like that so that is what is going to happen now so imagine somebody is running so bad so hard that he wants to finish the race somehow he may not want a first prize but he is very determined to finish the race so this is what is going to happen in the month of April when Jupiter goes into the sign of Sagittarius for some days. End of March to around somewhere mid between mid and end of April I guess. That time. So Jupiter is just touching Sagittarius. Just touching. Now we all know that Jupiter transits in one sign for almost a year 13 months roughly and October 12th last year it entered the sign of Scorpio and now it's going so fast <laughs> that it is going to enter Sagittarius its own sign its Mool Trikon sign the, pla the place where he's very happy of course, he is happiest at the sign of cancer where he is exalted. But the question is, what exactly is happening? Why Why is the planet running so fast? Alright, so that is what we will discuss in this video. So if you are new, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. And share this video with somebody who is interested to know about this Jupiter's transit. And yes, if you want a consultation from me and you want to know how this transit will figure out for you in your personal life, then you could go down to my website to book a reading. You will find it in the description section of my videos. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him, especially in the month of April. So now, Jupiter is currently in Gandanta position. Gandanta means he is in the last degree of the sign of Scorpio. And on 29th, it is going to just enter Sagittarius. And on 10th, it is going to be retrograde. And by the end of April, it will enter Scorpio back. But this time, when it is in Sagittarius, it's a very important time. Why do I say that? Because the houses which are ruled by Jupiter, you would have felt that from the month of October last year, you're running a race. <laughs> Running, 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 running. At least I have felt like that. I don't know about you. And you would have realized at the end. Because see, Jupiter is transiting where? In Jeshtha Nakshatra now. So, one of the traits of Jeshtha Nakshatra is we do not want to settle for anything less than what we think is the best. Because Jeshtha is ruled by Indra. I mean, not ruled in a literal sense. It's ruled by Mercury, planetary-wise. But Indra is very prominently associated with Jeshtha Nakshatra. So Indra is the king. It's like the throne. 
So when Jupiter transits Jeshtha or any planet transits Jeshtha, not only Jupiter. So the houses which it rules in your chart, depending on your ascendant, all right. So for the newcomers, the number sign, number nine, and number twelve, Sagittarius and Pisces. These two signs, depending from your ascendant, wherever they are falling, these are the houses of Jupiter's lordships. And the lordships show what the planet is all about in your chart. So now, from October mid, you would have felt that. The race started because Indra many times he has to protect his kingdom from the demons. So when Jupiter as the lord of a particular house started transiting in Jeshtha, yes, from around November end or December around that time, then you would have felt that now is the time I need to prove to everybody that I am the best in this zone. <laughs> yes, lot of competition you must have faced depending on the houses which Jupiter rules in your chart. For those areas, see, Jeshtha Nakshatra is about survival. So you would have felt that your survival of those houses were under threat. It's like a question mark. Are you good at that? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> so you were trying to prove to everybody. So that's like running the race. You're running, 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 running. <laughs> And at the end, you just touch it. And you were like, <sighs> it's over. <laughs> so the first part is very interesting. In fact, the second is even more interesting. The first part is, as soon as on 29th, it touches the sign of Sagittarius, you will realize that the game which you started somewhere around October last year is now going to complete <laughs> now you win the race or you come second or you are at the last position that will be dependent that will depend on your dasha what dasha you are running which planets are enforcing their authority upon you depending on vimshotri dasha and other dasha systems of course but regardless of the dasha you will feel that the game has now come to an end so that's the first part because it's running so desperately that it just finishes and touches. Now, the second part is, it is going to be conjunct Saturn and Ketu. So that is the place where the concept of <laughs> the illusory game that came. So when Jupiter enters Sagittarius, you will feel that the race is now over, but it's with Ketu there. So you will feel that I was running, but <laughs> during the course of my running, did I forget why I was running? Why is everybody running in this world? Because they want some happiness from somebody, from something. Yes. But sometimes we become so obsessed with life. We become so obsessed with running that you may forget why you started running at the first place. Nobody wants money. Nobody wants relationships. Nobody wants any of this. The soul just wants happiness. But the problem is we think that these things will make us happy. Which is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Unless it is within the barriers of religion of course. So now when you finally win the race or rather I would say complete the race depending on your dasha, you will feel that now I need to check, I need to ask myself, was it worth running? <laughs> or was it worth starting this race? Or was it not? Was I too obsessed about proving myself? Or did I finally prove myself? Or did I settle for something less? These are the questions which will keep hovering around your head and on 28 29 mercury is also going direct so it's a very important time so because jupiter is in gandanta the knots will unravel regarding the lordships and you will be able to see things manifesting physically at at a physical level i would say 
and to what extent it will be and what it will be will depend on your dasha and your existing horoscope and always remember saturn is already there in the sign of sagittarius so it's a very interesting transit because ketu is in uttarashada yes it is in uttarashada saturn is in purvashada and <laughs> in mula nakshatra jupiter is entering so mula nakshatra is related with uprooting things now how this uprooting will take place i will discuss when i make the retrogression of jupiter because from 10th it is going retrograde so that's going to be a very important retrogression because it's like saying you won the game but then you thought maybe i could win it better the next time <laughs> so then you go back again you again start fight fighting and you are fighting 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 till the end of november my god first week of november around that time when again then you win the race <laughs> so just take a note of these days the month of april and november will have very 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 similar energies or other than april i would say 29th march to mid of april and mid of october to first week of november these three weeks on both the sides will have very similar energies you will see now which now now it could happen that you are settling down for some time but that time you will fully finally completely settle okay so if you think that you are unable to do something now which you have been trying to do from october then don't worry you will again get a chance to do it in november so now if you think that i should settle down then i would say let's settle down because the race is complete <laughs> all right that is what i would like to say regarding this transit it's a very important transit and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know about this conjunction all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you want a reading from me regarding this transit you could always go down to my description section okay like until next time bye bye see you